Hey there, Lynn Allen here. Welcome to another AutoCAD tip courtesy of Catalyst Magazine. All right, a couple weeks ago, we talked about all things related to the cursor. We took control of the cursor. All right, but there's other boxes in the user interface, and we're gonna take control of those today. And if you learn nothing today, you're gonna learn some cool ways to torture your coworkers, which for some reason seems to be everybody's favorite part of these tips. You did not learn those from me. All right, let's take control. Let's go back into options. I like to do that by doing a right click at the command line and then going into options from the shortcut menu, but you can go into it any way you want. Pick your poison. I'm going to go over to the drafting tab on the ribbon. And here you'll see a couple of boxes. We have the auto stat marker size and the aperture size. Most of you probably don't use the aperture size. Let's start with the auto snap markers. What the heck are those? All right, so if I go in the line command, we all know our object snaps, right? These are auto snap markers. These are our markers. Now you can make them bigger or smaller by going into options and changing the size of them. You can go into them using system variables as well. Let's go back into options and I'll go back over it because it never goes back to where I left it, does it? Let's go, why doesn't it go back to where I left it? And you'll see the auto snap marker size. No problem, I can move those over and make them really big and obnoxious. You can make them as big as you want. And now if I go into using any object snaps, you'll go, wow, those are pretty darn big. My um, center object snap is almost as big as my circle. But you do have control over that. Once again, you can make them pretty darn big and annoy your coworkers. All right, let's go back into options. All right, right back into options. And this time, thank you, you left us at the tab that we were in, which when I do it through the keyboard like that, by using my up arrow, it's much more apt to go back to where I left it. And uh, in here, you'll actually see there's also something called an aperture, Lynn. What is the aperture? All right, before auto snap markers existed, before we got all those different symbols to tell us what type of object snap we were dealing with, um, we had these things, called, we had an aperture. And I can turn that back on. You'll see display auto snap aperture box. It's just basically an extra little bullseye. It actually existed in there um, with the auto snap markers at one time. They both existed temporarily, and I'll show you what that looks like. Let me show you what that looks like. So if I now go in the line command, you'll see I have a bullseye along with my auto snap marker. So that's up to you. You can have both if it makes you happy. You can have both, and you can control the size of that and make that really big and obnoxious or really small, whatever you prefer. Let's go back into options. Thank you. Once again, back to display. <laughs> if you do it by using your arrow keys to go back, it'll go back to the previous tab. It's crazy. All right, you can also make that really big like so. I don't need to show that to you. You can figure out what that looks like. It's entertaining, believe me. Big old bullseye. All right, I'm gonna actually turn off that aperture. Most of us don't wanna work with it, but you can, if you want to, if it makes it easier for you to figure out what you're getting, uh, by all means, turn that on. And then let's also go to selection. So two weeks ago, we talked about the pick box size because that helped us control the way our cursor looked, all right? And then we made it really big and we made it invisible as well. So we also have grips, right, that we work with. I hope you use grips because grips are so, so powerful. What the heck are grips? Make sure we're all on the same page. If I click on this object, we have grips on here. These grips can are a nice, easy way to edit objects on their screen. They're very fast, they're very, very efficient, all right? Now you can control the grip size as well. Let's go back into options to do it from the arrow keys just to prove it's gonna go back to where it was. And let's go back over to selection. It loves that display tab. It's like programmers love that display tab. The guy who programmed the display tab forces it to go back there. I swear he does. All right, let's go to selection and let's make that grip size really, really big. Let's have some fun. Let's have some fun. I'm going to say, okay. All right, now let's go ahead and pick grips. Wow, those are some grips. All right, I think I can see those. Wow, those grips are crazy. <laughs> those are some mega grips on the screen. All right, get a grip, babe. I can see those. If anybody's having grip issues, you can just go in and make those grips nice and big. There should be no more issues from that point forward, all right? So get a grip. Now you can know how to control some more of the boxes inside of your AutoCAD. Set it up to work the way that you want to work. Worst case, you know, set it up for your coworkers, all right? I'm going to see you back here in two more weeks. Thank you for joining me. Have a great week.